Hello, this particular tutorial is teaching how to register and complete the weekly claims assignment. I am creating this video because some students have expressed to me that they are having issues registering and I wanted to go through the steps and through the processes so that you all can follow along and complete your assignments accordingly. Okay, so the first set of instructions that we receive from the week two claims, claims assignment ask us to click here to download and print out this week's instructions to complete the assignment. So I clicked there and the very next screen that I see is this particular detailed step-by-step -step guide on where I need to go, which is a link here for the cms.gov website to complete um, the week two claims assignment and um, this will be the exact same website that I go to for weeks two through five. So I have different pointers guiding me to where I need to go. So once I have done that, I end up on this particular website and the very first instruction tells me that I need to click here to print or I'm sorry to go to the outreach and education area and I'm going to backtrack and review I need to assure that I follow the link that says MLN educational web guides which is the second link down so I go here and after I click the link I am taken to this particular area where I see the MLN Educational Web Guides page. And as you can see, it's jam-packed full of information and um, all of this information is helpful to medical billers and coders, by the way. This is just a sidebar note. And now I look for my second link. So let me go back to the assignment instructions and then I follow through and it's basically telling me that underneath here I will see the related links and I am supposed to go to the web-based training so I go back and I look for that here it is web-based training courses I click there and what needs to happen in this particular area once the page loads for me it's a bit slow what needs to happen in this area is this is where I need to register. So I have a, a few other links that I need to click before I find this particular say, website. Okay, so my computer is running a little slow today, but it's loading. And once, it's, once it loads, then here comes the tricky part, and there's a few... Um, steps that I have to take to assure that uh, I uh, register correctly. And once the web-based training courses have opened, it allowing me to browse all of the different training sessions that's available. And I'm to look for the Medicare Fraud and Abuse Prevention Detection and Reporting. And when I get there, I am told that it's free. I can either log in or register. And if I have never registered before um, today, then I need to follow the prompts to register. So I'm doing that now. Okay, so I have to input my email address and I'm going to use my study medical email address and I'm going to click submit and what it's telling me is no account was found matching my search criteria so what the web base what the website does is compare your your email address to their existing users and if the email address matches then it will prompt me to use my other account but since I do not have one it's telling me that I need to register so I just continue to click the next particular link and it takes me here to finish my registration process 
So I'm going to follow the instructions. I have to type a login ID and password. This is what I will use every time I enter this website. So therefore, I only need to register one time. So I'm going to use a login account. And of course, you need to always remember this account. Okay, so now I have an opportunity to register my information and um, just want to make sure your information is accurate because if you ever have to do a password retrieval, then this is where uh, the system will locate your information from. Okay, instructor and then I'm really not a healthcare provider, but I am a medical biller and coder. Um, I don't require uh, a health, well, I don't work at a healthcare facility, so I'm going to choose a medical billing organization. Now, if there was a school in here, and I um, think that there is a prompt for a school. other okay other um, that's what I'll use for school and then I will enter the address for UMA and it is in Tampa Florida and I'm not quite sure if I have the zip code correct. Okay, so there, and it's pretty much detailed as far as what you enter into this information, into these particular categories here. But if you're a student, you definitely don't need to um, add that information in here. You can always choose none or other. Um, and then, of course, you can say continuing education units um, for non-physicians or just CEU units. And then you hit submit. You must enter your other association. Oh, other association. I didn't even see that there. There, school. Okay. Now it says thank you for your submission and entrance in the MLN network and I will receive a registration email containing an activation link for this site. You may only enter the site upon activating your link by way of the link within the registration email. Once your activation is complete, you may log into the site through the site's login page. So basically, I have to wait a, a few minutes before the email confirmation comes back to me, and then I can go to those particular assignments and complete them. Okay, so I have activated the activation link for my email address. I have used the same username and password that I have just created. Good thing I remembered because I forgot to write it down. And now I just click on this link to go to my web-based training courses. And from there, I can begin my assignments for weeks two through five. Um, my computer is running a little bit slow, but that's basically all of the steps and all of the prompts. Um, once this page loads for me, I can begin my particular assessment. Okay, so my web-based training courses or available courses have loaded. There are 25 courses and I have to take the one for fraud and abuse, prevention, detection, and reporting. So I click on this one and wait for it to load and I begin my training session. And of course, I have to have a 70% or better in order to pass the course and um, after I'm completed, I will receive a certificate of completion and also some CEUs. So um, be sure to follow all of the steps 
in this particular guide and I know that there are some instructions in here that specifically indicate what you should enter into those registration fields but that information didn't apply to me because I'm not a student so you guys want to make sure that you fill out these particular uh, field boxes according to the instructions in step 10 for the um, week 2 CMS um, training so now that you've registered once again these are the steps that I went through and then I went back to the Medicare fraud and abuse and step 14 CEU okay thank you for watching if you have any further questions then please don't hesitate to give me a call or email me and I'm um, ho hopefully this is helpful and this can help you um, complete your assignments thank you bye bye